bringing together members of the Monoxides, I Capture the Castle, and the Ditch Bigs, Moncton, New Brunswick's The Motor League have been winning over fans with the release of their first CD, The White Tape. We interviewed the band from a secret location deep beneath the surface of the earth about their latest CD and their plans for world domination. In stores now! The Motor League's latest release, White Tape, is a comprehensive ensemble of great songs written by Don Levander, Nathan Jones, BJ Dumphy. That's it. Oh, oh I got that it. was pretty weird. I know it was. I'm, I told you, I need lines. Give me a give me Not much air down here. <laughs> yeah. We have to do the interview quickly because we've only got about 13 minutes left of air for all of us. Uh, how did the band come about together, like this Moncton All Star Band? It's, don't ever say that again. It's not a Moncton All Star Band. It's a Moncton yeah. Bottom of the Barrel Band. We, we, we all met down here, actually. <laughs> we're actually uh, chuds, uh, cannibalistic and human underground dwellers, and uh, a lot of us were homeless for a while. And we all met through the bowels of the city and said, like, you know, we're drinking Colt 45s and. And then we decided, you know, let's get up above the world and, and, and make a rock band.
I wasn't ready to give up when the, when the pigs died. I, you know, I wasn't exactly really ecstatic about it. I wanted to keep going, so uh, we knew it had to be a new band. It couldn't be, uh, you know, more of that without uh, without those guys in the band. But uh, it, it's a different band because it's a it's a different group of guys. You know, I mean, PJ was in the the pigs for good a good year. Yeah, we did uh, probably 20, 30 shows with them. When I was in the pigs too. It was like basically it stopped. I, both of us didn't want it to stop, and I really enjoyed writing with Don and playing with Don and doing other things with Don. That you know, that he'll be a guy that I'll be playing with for you know until I die, maybe for the next couple of years or so. Yeah, yeah. You're dangerous on stage. You really are dangerous. Like you're gonna kill someone one day. It's gonna be on ATV. Like Steve Murphy's gonna be like in a bizarre bass swinging accident. Through Don's head. You are gonna kill someone though. I'm completely okay with it. At least it's in the name of rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah, they don't, they don't put you in the chair for that. do stuff like we're on the road that's a big difference for me um, last night he said I finally get to be in a band that has merch and that made me pretty happy yeah. can you say it just like that try it once I, I don't speak like that but I said I finally get to be in a band that has merch <laughs> you're right you don't speak like that at all no, no, no. I, don't. I didn't just nail it or anything um, I don't know if they were ever really meant to come out or if they were just demos or what, but we know, uh, we knew, you know, there's no point in being in a band and traveling if you don't have something to, to leave behind when you're not in that city anymore. So it was, a, it was a mad rush to get something out. And, you know, as a result, I think it's a, a mediocre attempt but by a mediocre band. But no, it's, uh, but that was it. It was just like, let's get something out now. So I didn't want to not have anything out. We recorded it at home at my house with a uh, good friend, Kyle McDonald, who did uh, both the Ditch Pigs records. Uh, amazing guy he's done a lot of work with the, the Parkers and uh, some Eric Strip stuff and um, Hope yeah definitely Hope and he's doing uh, the Quarrels right now so great guy so he came over recorded it and uh, we recorded a lot of it too and he basically just mixed it all in a couple weeks and sounds pretty sounds pretty serious but we did everything at home so still yet to, I've never actually been in a real studio I think everything I've ever done has been at home pissing off the neighbors which we did it's pretty pissed off like a lot of people listen to it and they're like, wow, there's a lot of swearing on that record. And I never, I never realized it until, you know, I think it was actually tonight someone said, you know, oh, there's a lot of swearing on that record. I'm going, there is a lot of swearing. Like, when did we get so angry? When did I get so angry? I don't know. In 2007. Remember? It was 2006. Yeah, it was anyway, anyway, it's, uh, it's a, yeah, it's a pretty aggressive, like, fast record. Like, blah, 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 blah. like we're really angry about stuff. So going into the band, I had a lot of songs already written that were originally meant to be pig songs. Um, and I knew I wanted to do the same type of music. I didn't want to change at all. So I think uh, coming into it, I think I was probably the main writer. But from the from the get go, but I think now, like these guys are both really contributing, um, you know, like new stuff all the time, and it's been really cool. I thought uh, I wouldn't be able to handle it, but as a, I'm kind of a control freak, but no, they're bringing in really wicked stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty productive when I'm not sketchy. <laughs> he's good when he's above ground. Yeah, get him some a few hours of daylight, and he's good to go. This is how it feels to be fucked up. Take those big, big ones. It'll help any sound about. This is how it I think we made a to do list, didn't we? Like a grocery list of things to do. We said uh, Quebec at least twice this year and uh, Ontario at least once. You know, in the, our first real year of being an active band. That was kind of the. The goal, and then next year, hopefully, it'll get uh, you know, we'll do more than that. Newfoundland. We've done Newfoundland, we've done Newfoundland once, we're gonna do it again. Yeah, so we got uh, Eric, Eric Lewis, we got we we pulled him in to, to help us with the, the promotion, the publicity stuff. So we're, we're trying to hammer out, uh, you know, any kind of press we can get, really. And it's been working so far, so you know, it's a mediocre album, so we might as well do a mediocre job of promoting it.
And Hope also wanted us to tell you guys that they uh, completely ruled the bowling tournament. That's what they said. Tell Sessions that we completely ruled the bowling tournament and we won by like 100 pins, which is actually a complete lie because refusal code wiped the floor with them. And I want, I want a document of that. Like everyone needs to know that Hope are pissy bowlers and they're bad losers. Yeah, they were cranky, buddy. They were cranky yeah. losers, yeah. You guys, Hope, um, you guys are bad losers. Sorry. That's, that's how we roll.